Hello, today I'm going to show you my dipole antenna that I made for FM reception. Um, my goals with this antenna were to keep it inexpensive, um, yet make it durable because it's going to go outside. So I'm going to show you how I constructed it and uh, hopefully it hasn't been tested extensively, but hopefully it will work like a charm. So here we go. Okay, so the heart of this antenna is two copper rods. So I have this rod here and this rod here. Those are my receptors uh, for the signal. And I bought this PVC junction box. So the copper goes into the junction box with the terminals. And then the receiver wire or the wire here is going to screw to those two terminals and then, uh, we'll cap it off with that cap there for the junction box um, in order to get the signal um, i'm using this uh, antenna adapter here and that adapter came with some clips find them here um, so they're meant to to uh, screw onto antennas unfortunately the leads are a little too short so um, in order to sort of keep this watertight I went ahead and added some speaker wire and then I used these data um, splices in there so Anyway, so that's going to get shoved up in there. And then the uh, then I'll get everything attached. Now, another thing is this bracket. So this is the bracket that the antenna will sit on. And this bracket will fasten like so to this pole, which will allow the dipole to be um, vertical. Now, what's special about this bracket also is that on the other side, I have uh, two more clips that these will go on, then on the TV antenna mast. So part of the problem I had was finding a piece of hardware that was inexpensive enough to warrant, you know, say a DIY project and yet robust enough to do exactly what I was trying to accomplish. So this is made out of um, a Simpson strong tie 90 degree angle with um, four conduit clamps on here. And everything here is galvanized, so it should withstand the weather and all that. And hopefully um, we'll get it all put up, get it going and see how it works. All right, here I am on the roof. I finally got my dipole antenna installed, so I'm gonna show you what uh, the installation looks like, and then we'll go test it and see if it actually works. So there's my dipole antenna. It's attached to the TV aerial, and I got it connected to the uh, coax there. And that's all there is to it. So just showing the mounting. I actually got these pipe clamps screwed into this. Um, it's a Simpson strong tie. And so the pipe clamps are on the antenna mast and these pipe clamps here are on the PVC conduit. And now everything is hooked up and ready to go. So if we don't die on the way down, we'll be testing it in a few minutes. Okay, so I'm testing it now and just gonna press the tuning button. It appears to me that um, it's it's not more reception, but the stations that did come in are coming in um, stronger when I look at the little signal level here. So it may be the case that, um, you know, I would need to move the antenna some direction in order to get better reception of a particular radio station. Um, in this case, probably going to leave it as it is but that is a bipole antenna so there you go thanks for watching